All right, well, here we are again, everybody. Welcome back with uh, Mr. Reeves, or Mr. Reeves back with you, as we continue to find uh, the area of composite figures. So uh, just a real quick review. First, we did problems that just involved rectangles. Uh, then we moved on to problems that had rectangles and triangles which uh, you could also make into trapezoids on some of them, but I chose not to. And then on the third one, our third and final video, we're now going to add parts of circles, specifically semicircles, which are half circles, and quarter circles. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right in and get started. All right, so as I have said repeatedly, and you're probably tired of hearing me say it, you have some choices on how you choose to divide these up. Um, however, we don't really have much of a choice here. We have to go straight across, correct, and make this half circle. Then I could go across or I could go down. I'm just going to go ahead and go across right here. All right, so not too bad at all. I divide this into one, two, three areas, right? So again, we have area one, area two. And last but not least, area three. Area one is a rectangle, as it usually is, length times width. Area two, another rectangle, length times width. And area three is not a rectangle. Now, the area of a circle, I hope you remember, or you're looking at your notes, is pi times the radius squared. But we don't have a whole circle, we have half a circle. So we can do a half times pi times radius squared, or pi times radius squared divided by two. Both of those give us the same results because multiplying by half is the same as dividing by two. All right, here we go. Top rectangle, four by 14. Four by 14, so four times 14. Same as 7 times 8, we have 56 square miles. All right, next one, length times width. All right, now we got to be careful here. This is clearly 6, do you agree? So that is 6, but what about going across here? All right, well, this part from there to there is 4, and that part from here to here, if you look up top here, right there it is 4. So that is 4 plus 4, or 8, right? And 6 times 8 is 48. So, no, not inches. These are miles. Just a little bit bigger than an inch is a mile. All right, so 48 miles for area 2, right? So area 1 was 56. Area 2 is 48. Area 3. All right, now what do we have to know? We have to know the radius. Now remember, the radius goes from the center. I'm going to say right about here is the center. The radius goes from the center halfway out, right? So if I go like this, let me make it wider. I can't really see that. This is going to represent approximately my radius, right? Well, we have a little problem, don't we? Okay, I'm going to make that my center. All right, I need to know the distance all the way across, right? Well, it's not really that bad, not compared to some of the triangle problems we did earlier. From different color. Oh, but let's go something exciting like yellow. All right, from there to there. Great color, mysteries. From there to there is 19, right? And that little piece there is the same, is it not, or is it not? Oh, does it come down? Let's come down right here. Oh, no, you're kidding me. It doesn't match up. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, my. Look at that. We have this little piece right here. All right, now I know all the way across here is 5, right? All the way across here is 5. And all the way across here is what? Remember what we said that was? That was 4 plus 4, which was what? 8. 
right? So what is this little piece right here? If all the way across here is 8, and from there to there is 5, then this little piece is, drum roll please, it's 3, right? Do you see that? 3 plus 5 is 8. All the way across is 8, which means what? That means that this entire circle from there to there, now I can go ahead and extend that yellow all the way over, okay? So that entire yellow part is 19 plus 3, and 19 plus 3 is 22. But that's the diameter, right? We need what? We need the radius. Well, if the diameter is 22, the radius is 11, right? So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. So I'm going to go pi times 11 squared divided by 2. And that's going to give me my area. And guys down here, as we've said over and over and over again, we are using 3.144 pi. Uh, because uh, that's just a way for us to get the same answer and not have to keep checking a whole bunch of different approximations because as you know, pi goes on forever and ever and ever. So if we don't specify, that makes for a wide range of correct answers. But if we use 3.14, we can agree on what the correct answer is. All right, okay, so let's go ahead to our calculator. I'm going to clear out and I'm going to start at the beginning. All right, so I'm going to do, let's start here, actually, let's start at the end. So I'm going to go 3.14, right, that's going to be my value for pi, times 11 squared, right, and then I'm going to get that answer, all right, and that would be for a whole circle, but then I'm going to divide that by 2. So the area of that part is 189.97. All right, we don't really have to write it down, but it's not a bad idea. 189.97 miles squared. All right, and now I'm going to add those together. 189.97, it's already in the calculator right there. So then I'm going to add 48, and then I'm going to add 56. And when I do that, I get 293.97, 293.97, one more time, 293.97, and we got it. Awesome. Okay, well, if you notice this next one, it doesn't have a circle, does it? All right, it has a triangle, so we would go through and maybe do something like that, right? And maybe do something like that. The tricky one on this one, right, would be finding this length from here to here, right? So I'm not gonna do this problem, but let's see how we could find that length, right? There's four and there's five, and what is all the way across? Do you see up here it's nine, yeah? And right here it's four. So all the way across would be nine plus four, which is 13, right? But if we take away the 4 and the 5 that we already have, 4 plus 5 is 9, 13 minus 9 is 4. So this distance is also 4, right? So we would have a rectangle that was 9 by 17, right? 9 by 17. We'd have a rectangle here that is 7 by, and what did we just say? This distance across here was 13, right? And then for this triangle right here, we would have 1 half of 4 times 12, and we'd add those together. All right, but I'm not going to do that one because I wanted to do ones with circles or parts of circles. All right, and what are they doing here? Where are these circles? Why are they doing this to me? The whole point was to have some circles on here. Oh my goodness, take a look at this one, ladies and gentlemen. Who doesn't this look fun? All right, here we go. I'm glad because this one has a quarter circle. So uh, let's get going here. I'm going to drop the yellow. I'm going to go back to my skinny line. My skinny line. Here we go. So I'm going to go across here. Yeah. I'm going to go across here. Yeah. I'm going to go down here. Yeah. All righty. And there we go. So, one, two, 
three and four. All right, area one is a rectangle. Area two is another rectangle. Area three, surprise, surprise, is another rectangle. And area four, this is the first one we've seen like this, is a quarter circle, a quarter circle. All right, so area one, what do we have? The area of a rectangle is and forever will be length times width, two times four, right? Two times four. So that first area is eight what? Eight square millimeters. All right, area two, six, right? Again, we're going to have length times width. We have six times. Now we got to go all the way across here, right? So from here to here is four. From here to here is the same as from here to here. So that part right there is seven. Yeah. So we have four plus seven plus three. Well, let's do seven plus three first because that's easy. That's 10. So that part is 14. So I'm going to get six times 14. Well, six times 14 is the same as seven times 12. I don't know if that helps you or not. That's 84 square millimeters. Again, if you didn't know that, you could use a calculator. All right, area three, nine times seven. See how much faster we are now that we've done so many of these? 9 times 7 is 63 square millimeters. And finally, area 4. Now, again, the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, right? But we don't have a full circle. We have a quarter circle, right? 90 degrees makes one-fourth of a circle. So it's one-fourth, not one-half, Mr. Reeves, one fourth pi times radius squared or pi times radius squared divided by four. I right, remember on the last problem we had to work hard to get the radius. This, this time we don't have to. Three. So even though they have this as like a more challenging problem, this one's actually less challenging in my opinion. All right. So again, I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm going to go pi times the radius again goes from the center to a point on the circle. So the radius is equal to three. So pi times three squared divided by four is going to be my area. And then of course I will add all those together to get my final area. All righty, so here we go. So I'm going to do pi. Remember, we're going to use 3.144 pi because that's what they told us to do when we're good at following instructions. See, there it is right there. 3.14 for pi. Whoops. All right. Times 3 squared. Yeah. 3 squared right there. Okay. I'm going to get that answer. And then I'm going to divide it by 4 because it's only a quarter circle. So the area of this quarter circle is 7.0625. 7 7.0625. By the way, you notice they didn't give us any... Uh, any um, suggestions or requirements for rounding. So I'm just going to stick with all of the decimals I have here, right? If I rounded this to the nearest uh, hundredth, it would be 7.0, actually thousandth, it'd be 7.063. If I rounded to the nearest hundredth, it would be 7.06. If I rounded to the nearest tenth, it would be 7.1. And if I run in the nearest whole number, which would be crazy to do, it would just be 7. All right, but let's add all these together. So we have 7.065, and we're going to work our way up, right? Plus 63, working our way up, plus 84. And to our last one, area number 1, plus 8. And when we do all that, we get 162.065. 0.065. We put that into IXL. Correct. Okay. One more. And then we're done. Got to tell you. All right. I love math, but I am getting tired of these composite figure problems. I bet you are too. Okay. So here we go. So again, we have some choices here. Uh, I don't think we have much of a choice to do this. There's going to be our quarter circle. 
All right, I think I'm gonna go across here like that. I'm gonna go across here like that. Okay, so we end up with four, right? One, two, three, and I always like to save the most interesting one for last. Okay, so area one, rectangle, area two, rectangle, A-R-E-A -E spells area, still doesn't look great. All right, area three, rectangle, and area four, quarter circle. All right, rectangle, length, times, width. All right, it's not eight times seven though, right? Be careful, it's eight times what? 13, eight times 13. All right, let's see, eight times 10 would be 80. Eight times three is 24, that's 104 what, square feet? If you doubt me, let's check on the calculator. Eight times 13, 104 square feet. Good job, Mr. Reeves. All right, rectangle number two is six, right? But six times what? This distance right here, right? All right, well, all the way across the top is eight. Eight. This part is four, so I hope you can see pretty darn quickly that if that's eight and that's four, this would be four, right? Got that? So six times four is 24 square feet. Not going to check that one on the calculator. Area number three, four times 15, right? Four times 15. Keep getting lower and lower. 4 times 15 is, what, 60 square feet? And finally, the most interesting one of all, the quarter circle, right? 1 fourth times pi times radius squared, or pi times radius squared. What is it, ladies and gentlemen? You got it. Divided by 4. All right, and once again, this is not as hard because there's our radius, right? There's the center to a point on the circle. That distance going across is going to be our radius, right? The radius goes from the center to any point on the circle. So the radius is 12. So we're going to have, and again, I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Pi times 12 squared divided by Four. So I'm going to start with that on my calculator. Okay, and again, I'm going to use 3.14 for my approximation for pi times 12 squared. That would be the area of the entire circle, but we only have one fourth. So we're going to divide it by four, and we get 113.04. 113.04. Square feet, okay? So that is area four. Now, if we want the area of the entire figure, we're going to add all those together. So again, we've already got 113.04 in our calculator. Working my way up, I'm going to add that to 60, which is then going to get added to 24, which is finally going to get added to 104. Area one, area two, area three, area four, all added together. Give me 301.04. Three oh one point zero four and awesome. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this video and the end of my videos on composite figures. I hope these have been helpful for you, and I hope by now or very soon you will be an expert on finding the area of composite figures. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.